welcome to Pixel Pixel. I'm Decoy. I got a quick little power level slash commander level guide for you. Help you level up a little bit quicker. Now, first thing, research tree. If you've done part of the first one, you've unlocked the second one, you're doing stuff in it, just know that to some extent you're better off filling out your first tree than your second one. Because these things right here, in the first tree it says it gives you plus three. In the second tree it gives you plus five, but it costs twice as much. So through the beauty of math, filling out two of these in your first tree is going to give you an extra plus one than in the second tree. So screw you, second tree, for robbing me. But filling these out will help increase your power level. And I would suggest knocking these out. Now mind you, once you unlock that second tree, there's probably a few things you're going to want to grab before you max out this tree. And I completely understand that. But once you grab them things, come back. Finish that. Now, of course, you have the skill tree. Now, what's cool is once you're in the second skill tree, odds are you're in Plankerton. So... You're going to be earning two skill points at a time. Which is nice, because uh, everything in this friggin' skill tree costs two. But you can go buy two things in the first skill tree each time you level up. So it's kind of the whole research tree thing all over again. But as you're purchasing things in the skill tree, it will also increase your power level. Now on to the, the main thing that you need to focus on. Is your survivor squads and luckily while filling out my tree I opened up two new spots in one of my squads and the llamas have been rather nice to me and I was prepared for when I unlock them so thank goodness but putting in those legendaries definitely helps increase your level but you don't have to worry about having a legendary you just need to make sure you have people in these spots and that you're unlocking these spots. Another thing to focus on is a personality match. It definitely makes a difference. Another thing, level your people up. Because eventually, if you don't, if you get someone better and you don't give a crap about that person anymore, you can always retire them and then put most of their XP into that new person. But you definitely want to level your people up. Now me, I'm only going to super level anything that's legendary and up. Everything else, I might get it to like level 10 for now, at best. So far I've only been doing like level 5 on my people right now. Most of them I haven't even messed with yet because I haven't needed to. But eventually that time is coming when I'll have to take my own advice. God forbid. So you definitely want to focus on that because just through leveling these people up, I went from a level 26 at the start of this video, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to hit 29 here in a second when I finish getting this survivor to level 5. Yeah, it does kill me though, the fact that it has to lag every time I level someone up. They really need to fix that crap. But hopefully that helps you. There's three ways to help level up your power level, commander level, whatever you want to call it. I don't really care. So you need to focus on your survivor squad, your skill tree, and your research tree. And that covers all the bases. Don't forget if I hit 500 subs before Fortnite becomes free to play, I will give away two copies of the game. There you have it, folks. Please remember to like, sub, and share later.